Good afternoon. We're checking in on the tropics. We have our named storm now in the Atlantic as this storm is working its way now through the Caribbean. It's tropical storm Isaias and it's moving to the northwest at about 20 miles per hour. Max winds, sustained winds at 60 miles per hour. So uh, producing some strong winds with it along with some heavy rain and it's moving over to the island of Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic there, and will continue in its track, uh, making its way toward the U.S., toward the mainland. The good thing here is with this update today we are looking at the potential track being a little farther east could still make landfall in florida uh, but i'm hoping it'll take the right side of that track and uh, the center of the storm stays offshore but we'll have to see what happens as it moves its way to the northwest over the coming days uh, right now looking like it's nearing that florida uh, panhandle sometime on saturday as it moves in that direction so stay tuned for updates on that and looking at your temperatures right now we're looking pretty quiet we're across the valley. We've got lots of sunshine here in Fargo-Moorhead and throughout the valley, and that's helping our temperatures to rise. We're into the 70s to some low 80s right now, 80 in Grand Forks and 79 in Fargo. So let's take a look back at the radar right now. We're looking at some heavy rain that's been coming down uh, associated with Isaias over the Puerto Rican island there. You can see that we've got some heavy rain and they had some strong winds too. So they've been bearing the brunt of it uh, over time here over the last 24 hours. And now here in the valley, we're looking much quieter. We're seeing some uh, clear skies in most areas, but we've been watching those fair weather cumulus clouds pop up with the daytime heating. Uh, that's going to continue here as we head into the afternoon, but still getting plenty of sun in between those clouds. So let's take a look at our hour by hour planner for the rest of the day. We'll continue to see some spotty clouds here and there. Temperatures continue to be on the rise. We'll end up in the upper 70s to some mid 80s. Wind on the lighter side. And as we continue into the evening hours, expect some warm conditions and quiet conditions too. If you have some plans to be outdoors tonight, not looking too bad here in the forecast. And then continuing on into the overnight hours, that's when things start to change. We see the wind switch direction out of the south. It's going to help bring in some warmth and with it, the potential for more storms, that moisture coming in with it as a cold front approaches. So here's a look at your forecast through tomorrow morning. This is 5 a.m. on Friday. You can already see that there's some moisture brew in there and maybe a thunderstorm or two going in the northeast uh, part of the North Dakota and then down toward the James River Valley. Now, heading through the day, expect this moisture to continue to just kind of drop its way southeastward. There will be some spotty areas that see the chance for some rain and thunder uh, during the morning hours as I just showed you, but the better bet will be as we head into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Ahead of this, we're warming things up back into more places getting into the 80s ahead of the front. And we will also see those storms continue into the evening hours for your Friday night. For some of us, maybe into the late night hours. So conditions are going to be unsettled, but not necessarily severe storms. It's definitely something to watch here. Here's a look at the rest of your planner. Next couple of days, Saturday and Sunday after Friday look great. We're going to be seeing temperatures around 80 degrees, mostly sunny skies, just a really great weekend ahead once we get that system cleared out and that nice weather continues into next week. The weather does look absolutely beautiful, especially being in the 80s all week and can definitely enjoy that. Thanks, Lisa. Well, looking for signs of life forms on Mars. That is the mission for NASA's new rover. That story straight ahead at noon.